right, we're back at the Classic Motorsports Garage, and we are doing something pretty interesting today. We've got Jason from Laser Photonics here, and they have kind of perfected a new way of cleaning metal. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about how what this does and, and how it's different from a media blast cabinet, and uh, take it away. Uh, so. Thank you for uh, oh, uh, welcoming us here. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, we're getting our stuff clean for free. Yeah, this there is you awesome. go. There you go. So uh, our systems do uh, laser laser ablation and cleaning in the fact that we use lasers. So it's not like your regular laser pointers you get 7-Eleven. These are class four lasers. That's why you have to have safety glasses. Um, in, in terms of uh, cleaning, we haven't invented it. All right, we found more innovative ways to make it more mobile, easier for people to use. And, uh, and it's just an easier way to, to clean versus, um, you know, uh, with sand. Sand or anything uh, that, that has any type of byproduct to it. So, so your only byproduct would be the, the paint and the rust coming exactly, off the parts. Exactly. All right. Is this good for cleaning your hands? Uh, no, not, not good for cleaning your hands. Okay. Uh, in fact, Lasers, hand cleaning, yeah, exactly. I didn't think they went together. So uh, in terms of safety, when it comes to that, it's very safe in the fact that the laser head from its actual medium that you're, you're doing on, it has to be at a certain certain distance for it to even work. So if you come off and you accidentally... So you can't chase your neighbors around. Right, right, no, you can't, all right, because that energy just gets dispersed. Okay, Damn. So is that, exactly, we're getting there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're using uh, lasers. We got lots of different units that we use, anywhere from a, a 50 watt all the way up to a 3,000 watt where we can actually cut metal. Does that mean you have to be careful with all of them or you start damaging stuff? Yeah, so what happens is, is we have five different modes on all of our units. Our units are fairly easy, uh, or really easy interface where you have five different modes and you can, you can program each different mode to any different type of medium you want to use, whether it's aluminum, sheet metal, steel, uh, even polyurethane. Uh, oh, wow. You can also clean uh, plexiglass if you have it at the right settings. You have to toy with it. You have to know what you want to take off. You want to know what you want to keep on. So it's, it's a lot of toying with it, but it's, uh, it's like a Swiss Army knife. So A-arms like these, if I put these in my bead blast cabinet, and they'd take me, it'd probably take me close to 20, 30 minutes to, to both sides get them cleaned right. up. Is, is this system a little faster than that? So, uh, I guess we'll find out. But. We will find out, but uh, I'm here to tell you probably absolutely. But you don't need beads either. Yeah. All right. You don't need anything that comes with that bead blasting unit. We so also, you have less consumables? We have less consumables. All right. You fire this up. You don't have any of the prep work you need to do. If, if you have wires going to a component, all you need to do is tape them up with blue painter's tape doesn't affect the wires at all. So if you were accidentally hit Oh, the laser doesn't it, see certain shades of light? Right, or, well, it, yes, right. Okay. I mean, I'm no scientist. Yeah, me per, either. <laughs> for a fact, but yeah, you do that and it, it just, it, 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 it keeps it clear and free. The problem with a lot of sandblasting is, is that when you put a car into uh, one of these sandblasting units, they still have the hydraulic lines on there. If that sandblaster hits one of the yeah. hydraulic lines, it's over yeah, with. we know that well. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, so with this, no more, no more sandblasting, no more glass pellet cleaning, none of the consumables that you need. Okay. Right? It's, a lot, it's a lot healthier for the, the environment. So if we're media blasting stuff, we don't put greasy stuff in a cabinet. I mean, technically, it, it will fight its way through it, but mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't like it and it also puts grease and stuff into your media, which, you know, clogs your gun and all that kind of right. stuff. So with this system, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. It eats right through it and then gets down to the corrosion right okay. away. Well, I, you guys want to see what it does? I'm going to stand back and try not to get my fingers cut Absolutely. Off. All right, so I got the 200 wide laser head on here uh, with this XY coordinates. I got about 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter, about an inch by inch and 100% power. So we're going to clean the corrosion off here. You're gonna keep about about eight to ten inches away, and that's where you're gonna to get to see the highest, brightest flame, and that's where you're at your most efficient. So you don't need a helmet or a suit or anything. Don't need anything like oh, that. That's nice. All right. So right now, what we're operating with right here is our uh, our 200 watt laser. Uh, it's it's good for a lot of different applications. It's a pulse it's a pulse laser, so it's good for pre and post welding. So if you want to. Clean, get a nice clean surface. Are you are you offering the service to do this for people? Or are you selling the machines or both? So we sell the machines, but we also have a SPN network in which in which we have people that have bought our lasers and can do the service for other people. So as I clean it off, you can see Not I got it to the touch. It's it's oh. warm. 
but that's about it. And it depends on how yeah, long you hold the head, yeah. laser head on there. But yeah, it's uh, and uh, it went down right down to bare metal there. What well, a nice smooth finish too. You can also, if you need to, uh, you can uh, calibrate it to even do a smaller power to even polish it even more if you want. Or so vice is this, versa. Is this the widest pattern this one makes? No, this is 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter. If I go 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter, that's four inch by four inches, about about 3.96 inches by 3.9 inches. Can you show us a little bigger Absolutely. pattern? Absolutely. You gotta be careful with those delicate parts in a bead blast cabinet. Right. Um, but it doesn't seem like this really injures the metal at all. No, not at all. Uh, unless you get to the higher powerful, it does get to that point. So okay. you've got to really fine tune what you want, what you're, hit, what you're using, whether it's aluminum or steel. That's where you need to figure out what you, exactly what you want the laser to do. So the finishes all come down to the power, all right? So if you want um, uh, a nice polished, lower the power, all right? And uh, probably with a, a, a wider uh, XY grid. That way you can just go over top of it until you get exactly what you want. So, so aluminum wheels, you might not have to do anything else afterwards. You can make a fairly smooth finish on an aluminum wheel? Yes, that, okay. that is possible. Okay. So as you can see, it did cover a wider area, but you're going to have a lot of spacing where it didn't hit. But it's also doing a clean sweep. So this, some, is a smaller, this is a smaller piece. Yeah. You can... Uh, so somewhere halfway in between would probably be optimal absolutely. for this kind of piece? Absolutely. So I, I do a lot of blasting, media blasting and such, and, and both uh, in a cabinet and outside. Uh, obviously when you're outside, it's a filthy, dirty, miserable job. You've got to wear a full suit. It gets in your ears and your eyes and everywhere, no matter what you do. This is pretty darn easy. I mean, sitting here, I've got my street clothes on. So if people want to learn more about you guys and this product and this system, where should they go? We are on almost every social media platform okay. known. LinkedIn. I figured you might. Be. Yeah, we are. Even TikTok. Okay. Uh, we're on TikTok. We show lots of our uh, lots of our videos on there. Uh, but obviously, laserphotonics.com is where we can be reached as well. Okay. Well, thank you very much for Absolutely. coming. Absolutely. I appreciate showing your time. Us this amazing system. Absolutely. Thank you very much. If you like this sort of stuff, go to classicmotorsports.com and like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching.